Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. What I got for you guys today is actually a super cool video. Today we're going to be talking about, of all things, GTA 4 Online. And I want to go ahead and compare GTA 4 Online to GTA 5 Online and also talk about how GTA 4 Online may be more active than GTA 5 Online. So we're going to be getting into that in just a quick second here. Make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe down below for more videos just like this. But let's go ahead and jump right on in into the two quick shout outs of the day and right after that we'll get into the actual video. So the first quick shout out of the day goes to Gennardo on Naruto. He uploads some awesome in real life vlogs to his YouTube channel and he lives in Amsterdam and his videos are really awesome to watch and his vlogs are actually super high quality and pretty fast paced which is awesome. So make sure you guys go ahead and check out his channel in the description down below and subscribe over there for some awesome video vlogs. And the final quick shout out of the day goes to Papa Pods 630 He's actually a Twitch streamer but uploads his full live streams and also shorter video versions of highlights and stuff to his YouTube channel. He uploads a ton of different games such as Fortnite and also some little, little known titles as well. He has a great variety of content so make sure you guys go ahead and check out his YouTube channel in the description down below and subscribe over there. But with that being said and without further ado let's go and get right into this video. So I'm not sure how many people watching this video right now actually played GTA 4 and especially GTA 4 online but myself personally I can say that this game when it first came out was so ahead of its time I mean when GTA 4 first released people were just amazed because the game was such a revolutionary game and even GTA 5 was revolutionary but at the time GTA 4 was just simply incredible and people were going absolutely crazy so this month right now actually marks the 10 year anniversary of GTA 4 release. So I wanted to know, is GTA 4 Online even playable at this point because Rockstar Game servers are actually still up? Now some of you may be wondering, why am I talking about this now? Why am I talking about GTA 4 in 2018 when GTA 6 is actually going to be coming out sooner than GTA 4 was actually released? This is because Rockstar Games actually pulled out an update for GTA 4 last week. Now, before you get all hyped and stuff about new content, of course there was new new content. Simply what Rockstar did is removed a handful of songs that licenses expired for, and I guess they didn't really want to pay extra money for those songs. And those songs were removed from GTA 4. That was literally the update. No new content was added. But that did spark a ton of media outlets, and again, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be going off of Kutaku, which I do trust they're a pretty good news media site that has a pretty unbiased opinion on gaming news. And they go ahead and show, if you load into GTA 4 Online right now, it is actually super active. Now, this may be because mods are actually prevalent in GTA 4, and Rockstar doesn't really care. Now, in GTA 4, since there was no whole money-making system and there was no this job system, you couldn't really screw around with other people. People just went into online to have fun, unlike GTA 5 where this is an entire grind. So GTA 4 was more about just screwing around with your friends, having fun, and just doing some fun things. And they mentioned in the article how there's still some glitches such as the swing set glitch, which is still there. You basically drive a car into one of the swing sets inside the game and it just keeps you flying in the air, which is super duper cool. And honestly, people, I believe, playing GTA 4 Online do that for a couple reasons. So first of all, I just mentioned the whole modding thing, which I personally think is great. People are modding, they're having some awesome fun, especially with like cops and robbers and stuff like that. And also number two, the GTA 4 map is definitely different than GTA 5. Of course, it's based in New York City, it's definitely different, and some people just prefer the GTA 4 map over GTA 5. And a lot of people that are playing GTA 4 right now have a texture pack installed to make the game look a little bit better, because if you go ahead and actually play GTA 4 right now after playing GTA 5, you would not really be able to play it because it's going to look very gray, the colors are not good, but of course if you do install a texture pack and a color gradient pack, you will definitely see a great difference, and it might look even as good as GTA 5. Now the one thing I personally miss about GTA 4 is the whole car mechanics. So in GTA 5, I would say the car mechanics are great, I love them, I became very accustomed to them, but they are nowhere as realistic as GTA 4. In GTA 4, if you were to make a turn going at a high speed inside like an SUV or something, your car will flip over. Now in GTA 5, in order to flip over your car, you gotta go absolutely crazy in order to flip it over. In GTA 4 it was a little bit more realistic, and I personally think people like that, and also just some sounds of driving were realistic. So some of the things 
in GTA 4 are just simply better than GTA 5, and I believe a lot of people agree that the mechanics of driving inside GTA 4 at the end of the day are more realistic and, in my opinion, as I said, better than GTA 5. But it's not just that, people again do like the map and just stuff like that, but if you go into GTA 4 right now, and if you have it, definitely go ahead and put it in if you have like a PS3 or an Xbox 360 laying around, or if you have it on your PC just like I do, go ahead and go into online and just look how many people are playing. There's full lobbies and there's like a whole community still playing GTA 4, which I actually did not even know about. I've been wondering this for a while, but I never just took the time to do my research into it. And I'm honestly super amazed by the amount of people that are playing this game currently, and I honestly don't blame them. It's a phenomenal game, and Rockstar really put out a total banger when they released GTA 4 back in the day. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Again, I will have the Kotaku article linked in the description down below if you guys want to go a little bit more in depth into this. They kind of talk about the nitty gritty details I kind of left out of this video, but definitely go ahead and check that out in the description down below. Great article. I think they did a phenomenal job writing it. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe down below for more videos just like this. And I'll be sure to see you guys tomorrow with yet another GTA 5 Online video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not sure if I was supposed to make this kind of video because I know this is the GTA 5 slash GTA 6 rumors channel, but GTA 4 is kind of out of my scope, so hopefully you guys do enjoy this video, but yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.